Take your pen, which is filled with the insulin. For six decades, Ann Sheehan has managed her type 2 diabetes. This in particular has 300 units. I take 30 units at breakfast, lunch, and dinner. But over the last few months, Sheehan says getting the medication she relies on has become an almost impossible chore. As I began to run out, I went to the you know pharmacy and said I need to have this refilled. Well, it's back ordered. Sheehan takes three different types of insulin, including a liraglutide injection, which is currently listed on the FDA's website as in a shortage. Several other insulin brands are set to be discontinued in the coming months. This is about the everyday common insulin that a majority of people are trying to take, and you can't get them. For the millions of people with diabetes who don't take their insulin, the consequences can be grave. It's a deadly thing. Going into this week, Sheehan was down to her last few doses of insulin and was mentally prepared to have to check into the hospital before getting her hands on more medicine within the last few days. Have you ever had trouble getting it before? Never. Last year? Never. According to the FDA, there are different reasons for some drugs being in a shortage, from delays in shipping to an increase in demand to business decisions to discontinue a drug totally. But why isn't anybody doing anything? It's just wrong. Um, and that no one's discussing it and no one knows about it. Sheehan says she doesn't blame one person or one company for what she's going through right now. Rather, just wants to bring awareness to her situation for others who might find themselves in a similar spot as well. For now, reporting in the newsroom, Zach Perlutsky for Arizona's Family.